haven't gotten me a present in a long time. What? This mean like you're my wife and I love you presents. How how do you what how do you how do you define <laughs> you're my wife and I love you presents? You know, so I understand. Uh, here's a tote. Like a bag? A tote. A tote. Don't know what that is, but <laughs> a Louis I figure it's a bag. Okay, okay. Does, it doesn't even have to be that fancy. Just, how about some perfume? You know I love perfume. I'm out of perfume right now. If I were to go in your bathroom right now and count the, the, the perfume bottles that are in there, you have like 64. And that's not ex an exaggeration. Well, some of them I don't wear. the show. Thank you so much for um, thanks uh, for being my wife uh, gifts really yeah yeah, yeah. perfumes I, you know when you're married you got to keep it spontaneous and spicy and I think great gifts do Who that. Who are you talking to? <laughs> you explain to me what I have to do when I'm married? Well, I'm doing it right now. I, I'm the one who bought you the 64 bottles of per perfume. <laughs> that would be me. Yeah, that was me. I'm just trying to give you hints, babe. Just little hints of how to kick it up a notch. <laughs> if I could get up another notch, I, I, I mean, I don't know. I, 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 how many bags have you gotten? We don't have to discuss this right uh, now. Well, yeah, well, I just want to, I just want to, you know, because there's a lot of bags in my house. <laughs> Totes and We have a great sacks. show for you today, yes, don't we? we? Do. Yes, yeah, we okay. do. Way to avoid the question. Okay, no, this is what I want to say. Are Please. any married people here? <laughs> yeah. And do you find yourselves in a little romance rut? Sometimes. Sure. Yeah. The one guy's like, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rotting right now, yes. <laughs> Speak to me. Sometimes it takes just a little gesture to, to scooch us up a notch. Scooch us up? Yeah. A little surprise, a little, hey, thought about you on my way home, stopped, So gotcha. I bought you a $30,000 tote. <laughs> <laughs> Is no. that really? No, 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 no. If no. you don't know, I can't help you. OK, can we please set the record straight? And yep. can you make sure people understand that I do know? Okay. That I do know. Well, put your knowledge where the knowledge is. <laughs> we have a great show today. <laughs> From So You Think You Can Dance, Nigel Lipko and choreographer Adam Shackman are here. Yes. Richardson Whitfield and her husband Dondre Whitfield will also be joining us. Yes. A lot going on today. It's an action packed show. But before we uh, bring our guests out, I, I do want to talk about something that seems to have everyone's attention right now. Outspoken comedian Amy Schumer. Yes. You know Amy Schumer? Woo! She is hot right now. She's on the cover of the latest GQ magazine. And in the magazine, she describes herself as uh, having, quote, an honest, unapologetic human voice. Mm -hmm. And she also said something that I found interesting. She said, talking about sex as a woman, just broaching the subject makes people think of you in a certain way. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, do you think that's true? I do think that's true, but I think it's a double standard. Oh. Yeah. And I, I'm with her on that. Um, you know, you can debate whether her way of expressing herself is appropriate or not, that she's a Comedian. She's, she's an known actress. for her, you know. Yeah, she's known. Tell That's it her like brand. It is. She's known. She's known for for being unapologetic. Do you think Amy's too raunchy? Um, see, I, 
I don't know her personally, so I want to give it a benefit of the doubt because she well, is a comedian. That's the debate, right? I give She's her that comedian, freedom. She's a comedian, so 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 she is being provocative. Yes. Which is her right. Uh, she she wants to express that side of her. Um, I would like to meet her. And, oh and, really? And, and after I meet. <laughs> Well, clearly Amy Schumer has definitely won some people over. <laughs> but let's talk about some ways that men can woo women. Give me some examples. Well, uh, perfume and totes. <laughs> see, see, that's the thing. She doesn't let it. She doesn't let it go. She just doesn't let it go. And, and no, I think you guys. Under, sorry, go ahead. No, I don't no, it's fine. You anymore. No, 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 go no, ahead. no, no, no. Weren't you the one who said, "Okay, after we apologize or after we say I'm sorry to each other, we let it go." Yes. We acknowledge that the other person does not agree. We agree to disagree and we let it go. Yes. So why do you bring up the totes <laughs> and the perfume again? I let it go. No, you didn't. You just <laughs> brought it up again. <laughs> yes. No, I, I'm letting it go. Just read the subject. But I just think that you guys sleep on, this is for the, all the single guys out there, you sleep on some of the four basic things that, that work, right? Be nice. You know, you don't have to be a jerk. Just be kind and strong and a gentleman, it's okay. Be nice to children, you know what I mean? Like if you're with a guy and he's yelling about a kid crying in a restaurant or, you know, sees a cute kid and doesn't say anything, like, it's, it's nice to see that you, you know, you did that. What? I, I saw the way you, 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 you cared for children. When we were on set and someone would bring their baby oh, to yeah, set, yeah. you always pick them up. But I mean, and... how low is this bar? Jesus. <laughs> I mean, to woo women, you have to be a, a human? That's it? A male human? That's how cro be nice. men have become. Don't be abuse creative. children? <laughs> what, what is this? I mean, what are, are we basics. talking about? These are the basics. These are not the caveman times. Well, yes, they are. Let's ask some of our single friends out there. <laughs> yes. Don't pull women by their hair. You guys need to be reminded. You need to be reminded. Jeez, I, look, I don't need gimmicks. I don't need any tricks. I think if a man is confident, uh, and comfortable with who he is. You don't need anything. Just be yourself, right? Yeah. Or drive a big car. <laughs> Have a really big car. Or, or bring perfume. Bring lots of totes <laughs> and perfume to the party. Well, sometimes in a relationship, it's, it's both sides who keep quiet about their feelings, and, the, and they use that common response that you always accuse me of. Like, I don't want to talk about it. That one? Yeah, you do that all the time. Well, there's some times where something major happens, and I know you, like most men, you've already weighed whether or not this is worth arguing about, and you toss it out. So I know that I have to hold it in and just work it out with myself, otherwise it's gonna be a whole other argument, and so that's when I say, I don't wanna talk about it. But how do I learn when you don't want to share with me what the problem is? Because I already know. Are we having an argument <laughs> right now? Are we, are we having our first no, argument? No, no, we're, on, we're, on, uh, on, uh, on, we're just discussing. We're just discussing. Yes. Okay. Do you want me to give an example? Please. Okay, because I've been holding this in. I can't wait. <laughs> I went to a deli and I've been trying to watch my weight because I want to fit into these cute clothes Doesn't and Dana and wardrobe. Oh. Thank you, and watch the carbs, and it's not easy with kids and everything. So I went and I bought my favorite, and time's an issue, so I bought my favorite tuna. Yeah. <laughs> and I put it in the fridge, and because when you live in a house with other people, they don't know, so I even put my name on it. <laughs> Mom, on a little sticker. Okay, okay, the sticker. First of all, the sticker fell, so it, it was upside down, and it said, wow. <laughs> so I thought... <laughs> Wow, she's leaving me a piece of tuna. Wow, it's such great tuna. So I was really appreciative oh, okay. that you thought of me, and I'm very disappointed to find Why out that you, you weren't bluffing? thinking of me. What are you doing? Really? Is, is, is that really the argument you're going to have with me right now? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, OK. You don't want to talk about it? You're not getting any tuna tonight. <laughs> I'm Adam Shankman. And I'm Nigel Lithgow. And we're about to go on the Boris and Nicole show. I can't wait. I love Boris and Nicole. Maybe too much. Maybe too much.
Now, if you think you can dance, you're definitely going to love our next guests. They've introduced us to some of the most talented dancers across the globe on their hit show, So You Think You Can Dance. Please welcome award-winning choreographers Nigel Litko and Adam Sheckman. <laughs> I need a stretcher. <laughs> my, uh, my hands. Oh, yeah, that was great. Ow. You guys have been dancing for a long time, though. When did you start? <laughs> oh, collectively, <laughs> since, you know, the medieval years. I mean, uh, well, you brought us some pictures. I think we have some pictures here. Oh, no. Please, God, what? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. That, uh, yeah, that was, that was me yesterday. I just wow. took that in my backyard. How about you, Nigel? Do we have a picture of you? Uh, they didn't really have cameras when I was. Talking. No, no, no. <laughs> it, no, literally, I was, I was like, we could get a picture of Nigel, but we'd have to actually go to Stonehenge because it's etched on the side <laughs> of, the, of one of the rocks. It's like a cave painting. Well, you work together on So You Think You Can Dance. What are some of the, the moments that have stood out for you? I think I was inspired by Adam once when he didn't realize he had his microphone on. Oh, my God. And went through an entire evening of his sexual experiences. Oh, my God. Oh, my and everybody, God. everybody, everybody, all the camera guys and the director all heard <laughs> what he was up to. Are you serious? They got an earful, and then I looked at them and was like, yep, yes, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right. That's the best way to do it. You gotta own it. That was and inspirational. Like that. that was no, my no. inspirational moment. <laughs> yeah. That oh. having been said, um, segue, we, um, you know, we've, listen, you've been doing, you know, they, he just said, celebrated the 10th anniversary. This is that, so you think he's the man, which is not just 10 seasons, it's 12 seasons. Um, and, you know, I, I went out on the road, uh, seven of those, and um, the, um, you know, what you do is you get, these pages that the producers give you when you're seeing the dancers in all the different cities, and it lists, you know, what their kind of their backstories. Back back yeah. And um, and one after another, it was, you know, um, dance saved his life. Brother was killed in this. Homeless. Dance saved their life in this. Got me um, through drug addiction. Got me through alcohol addiction. Mm -hmm. These are young kids. And you have a project that's close to your heart called Dizzy the Dizzy Feet Foundation. The yeah. Dizzy Feet Foundation. This, we, we really started this. We, we believe that you know the education system in this country at the moment is not finding out what kids are good at. It's oh. just turning around and saying, you have to be good at regurgitating the facts we give you in order to pass tests. Uh, and it's just the wrong way of creating society as well. You know, none of us, none of us are the same. And, and who knows what's going to be required of us in the future? So how does the Dizzy Feet Foundation um, help? We, we, we fix it all. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Get it. Just we like that. And educate well, you've everybody. Impacted a lot of dancers who who've gone on to do really really big things. And like, we, like you. Yes. <laughs> we, yes. You know, Boogie Nights. We we worked together on Boogie Nights yeah. 17 years Whoa. ago. 18 years ago. Whoa. 18. Whoa. 18 years ago. Wow. 18 years ago when you were 10. Yes, when I was 10. <laughs> Playing that. And a half. I was 10 and a half. Yeah. Uh, yes. How did the dancing play into uh, Boogie Nights? We had, it was the 70s, baby. Oh, that's right. Disco. <laughs> we, disco. Right. We have one of those exceptional dancers here with us. He's the winner of So You Think You Can Dance season 10. Please welcome Fiction. <laughs>
How's it going? Good, good, good. I feel good, so good. small. That's it amazing. was so sweet. When Nigel <laughs> taught him all that, it was great. Yeah. <laughs> it was a You're great performing day. now in World of Dance, right? Yes, yes, so I am. Tell us all about that. Um, well, it's like this giant hip hop competition, and um, I usually go to go showcase, and it's really cool because they really let me. Um, like they really let me just kind of like do my freestyling, uh, which is really great, and which also uh, like it's my freestyling and my personality that I get to just let it out on stage every time, city to city. So. Well, you sure are. <laughs> why, why do you think dance is such a powerful expression? Um, I think because first of all, it calls on all of your things. It's it's movement. There's intake with um, with music. There's you have the music going on in your head. You get physically exhausted from it. It creates energy inside your body. And dancing is generally in a you know thought of back when he was born in the Stone Age. It was all you know when, when they invented fire when he was around, <laughs> and he, you know and he was dancing around. It was all joy and celebration and praise and and all of that. Now, you know, with contemporary dancing, it expresses an enormity. In our, in our foundation, in the Dizzy Feet Foundation, when I look at our site visits and I see kids in some of the most horrible areas in the country, we're, we ha we're hitting well over 60,000 kids yeah. now. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, and it transcends race, it transcends gender, it transcends culture. Absolutely. And you see these kids yes. who, uh, on poverty level, who are addressing each other with respect, mm -hmm. experiencing community, self-esteem, social yes. glue community. as well. It's, it's social glue. It together. This is awesome. Well, you have some mad pop blocking skills. I've got a few of my own. So oh, oh, yeah. Oh boy. So you might want to brush me up and then teach him some. <laughs> okay, brush up on some. <laughs> okay, so. Some basics. Just give us some basics. Okay. Some basics. Okay, so right. first, what we're gonna do? We're gonna take. Oh, we're gonna man. take our hands out. Just like do a little. Do you have to take this jacket off? Oh, no. Are I we mean, doing this too? I think they look better in jackets. Oh, yeah, Lord. yeah. So you're gonna take your hands like this. You're gonna bring your hand down. Oh, I, I'm right. I'm with you. I'm with you. So we're gonna bring your hand down. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna pop our elbow up. Oh my God, we're doing the. We're wave. gonna pop our shoulder. We're gonna pop our other shoulder. We're gonna do our elbow. Elbow. We're gonna bring it out like this. Oh! oh. Bring it in. Oh, oh is that it? <laughs> See, he, he took it through the chest. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, yeah. He, 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 he added the. Mo that's key oh. too. That is key too. But I didn't have to tell you that. You already got it. Natural. Natural. Natural talent. Because there's nothing harder <laughs> than like an old Jew like. <laughs> Hey, that was so well, much fun. something going on this weekend, right? August the 1st, we were at Club Nokia with the Dizzy Feet Foundation Gala. Woo. Love it. It's our celebration of dance. Wow. And uh, <laughs> tickets are available <laughs> Thank now. you so much. Thank you, so much Adam and Nigel Thank Fiction, for being here. For more information on the celebration of Dance Gala, go to our Facebook page. We'll be right back. Pleasing boxing champion, but this weekend you can catch him in the highly anticipated film Southpaw. Please welcome Victor Ortiz. But then I was like, I have to steam it still. This, ah, I'll just go. Oh, oh no, no, no. Blaze is so overrated. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys? Where'd that come from? I, I can take it off. You don't like it? Well, I, you know, well, take wait it off. Wow. Take, take it, it off. Just take it off. Oh, oh, oh. Twinning. Yeah, we're go. twinning now. Boom. So, we go. Yeah, so well, we can talk about your film in a second, but let's first talk Absolutely. about what an inspiration you are. Oh, thank you. You yeah. truly overcame the odds to become a success, and uh, it's really, your story is very inspiring. Why don't you share some of it with us? I remember I was nine years old, and I just said to myself, I have to be world champion, man. I was so natural at it. Not as a, I'm right-handed, can't fight right-handed. So one day I just started switching this way, and I just started noticing that I'd make every kid cry in the ring. <laughs> I fell in love with that, and I was like, hey, I was a little fat kid, you That's know? a pretty good sign that you're yeah, on your way. Absolutely. You make everybody cry around you. I mean, you know, I was this little, you know, little fluffy kid. I played the piano. I was in the choir for school, and wow. I even had some vocal coaching. But I just remember I'd get in the ring right-handed, and boom, 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 hit me. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, uh, one day I just turned this way, and then this little 
I mean, may he rest in peace, Bucky Avila. Ignacio, he taught me how to box uh, lefty. And then, you know, I'm like, the same guys that make me cry, I'd be like, boom, boom. I'm like, oh, don't cry. It's OK, bro. <laughs> <laughs> So I just fell in love with making Watch somebody cry, people. and then next thing yeah. I'm just running with the dream. And the nine years old kicks around. I'm like, I have the world champion. Have, I could do that. And then I watched Rocky spirit. a few times, and once yeah. I, once I watched That'll Rocky, I was like, That made me think I could be a world champion <laughs> watching Rocky. That's right. That's right. Yeah, so I, I saw a street kid that, you know, worked hard and, and took over the world. I mean, that gave me a silly thought and a silly dream and some hope. And next thing you know, I'm. You're here. You know, yeah. I don't know. Long story short. Heavyweight ring with Jake Gyllenhaal, oh, man, yes, that, that and Rachel cool. McAdams. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, tell wow. us about Southpaw. Yeah, what was so, it like working on a film? No, funniest thing, how I got casted in that, I was like, where do I stand in there? So I went and I read, and then uh, I was like, yeah. They're like, wow, your deliveries are amazing. Only one problem. What's that? <laughs> You're too small. I'm like, <laughs> Did oh. they put you in a box sometimes? I felt like Rudy. <laughs> I was like, Rudy, Rudy. I was, I was like, man. So I was like, it's no problem. Can you just do me a favor and just please contact my agency and tell them that I actually delivered amazing and, you know, so that way they don't think I'm playing around. I left and uh, yeah, so this guy came in here today, uh, calling Anton Fuqua. Um, he claimed he was a boxer or something. Uh, he's a really nice guy, but uh, what's his name? Victor Ortiz. You let Victor Ortiz read my script. <laughs> <laughs> Without me being there. Yes, <laughs> so next you know it's I like love it. well, you know what? I just treat everybody politely, you know. So I get a phone call, I don't know what you did in there. I, what guys, I prepped you guys told me to do that. Well, no, listen, they want you back. Oh. There you go. So next you know, champ, you're in the movie. Amazing. Congratulations. Yes. Yes. Thank That's you. incredible. Yes. Yeah. Well, we, we can't let a boxing champion leave without us learning some techniques. Oh, absolutely. Do you think you could Let's do that. that. Ooh. So here, uh -oh. we don't want you to hurt yourself. Uh -oh. I think we yeah. need some room. Can we make some yes. room? Yes. Let's make some room here. <laughs> All right. Why do you get the pink gloves? That's cancer awareness, bro. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No, it's because you think I'm soft, and then I oh. hook you with my southpaw. Oh. Get you. You hook me with your southpaw. <laughs> that's, um, OK. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask, are you right-handed or left-handed? I'm right-handed. Right-handed. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh. Maybe when you not. right? Because I'm right-handed, too, but I fight left-handed. OK. I'm open. Oh. I'm OK, open. OK. Let's, let's try a jab real quick. No, oh. this is a jab. Oh, I knew yeah. that. Fundamentals. I'm sorry. Yeah. Here. OK. There jab, you. this is jab. Okay. Jab. Okay. One, two. Got you, got you. You gotta okay. twist the. Yep, you know, I'm ready. One, two. I'm ready. Yeah, okay, yep. one, twist one two. Twist the hip. One, oh. two, boom. Oh, one, two. Oh. One, two. Oh, ooh, one, two. One, two. One, two. Oh, one, two. Wow. One, two. Wow. One, two. Faster. One, two. One, two. Oh. One, two. Whoa. And heels. Yeah. And heels. I don't, I don't need to embarrass myself. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to embarrass myself. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna thank Victor Ortiz for coming. Don't get away, we will right back. from faraway places in different countries without having to travel across the world? Well, now you can without even leaving your home. Here to tell us more about Try the World Gourmet Food Boxes, please welcome Kat Varatova. Kat Varatova. Hey. Hi, welcome, welcome. Two sides. Yes. So Kat, to meet you. I, I love the you. idea of, of eating food from another country without leaving my house. So tell us a little bit about uh, how Try the World got started. Of course. Well, I love to eat and I love to travel. So three years ago, when I was a graduate student at Columbia University, I met a fellow foodie and traveler, David Fult, and together we found a Try the World because every time we came back from an exotic destination and wanted to recreate that culinary experience, we just could not find the products in the U.S. So how many countries do you have food boxes from? So four? we've done 10 countries so far. Wow. Anywhere from France, Japan, Brazil, Morocco, Italy. 
and they all come with delicious foods. So you had to go there and you do research on the food and... We work with local experts and celebrity chefs to actually ah. source these products directly from the countries. Which nice. box are we working with today? Today we're working with Argentina and a... <laughs> Let's see what's in Is, that where, is, that is this what's... What, yeah, what's over <laughs> here? So we got seven local, authentic and delicious products from Argentina and a culture guide which comes with recipes, music and movies so you wow. can create this culinary wow. and cultural experience at home and share with your friends, your I kids. Love this. That's very comprehensive. Or yourself. Yes, Delicious. love this. So Boris and I are going to have an Argentinian cook-off. You set it up, set us up lovely here. Thank you so much. Well, look, when we did the mystery food challenge last week, I lost, so I have to redeem myself. Uh, uh, I have my what is Anilon pot? It's this lovely pot that was given to us by Anilon. That's right. <laughs> I'm so grateful to you. Yes. <laughs> Kat, just tell us what we need to do. Okay. Well, each of you have a sliced pre-cooked lomo beef okay, and some chimichurri sauce. Ooh. Okay. What's this? That's some Malbec wine from Argentina. <laughs> let's, let, let's get the party started early. Chimichurri. Yeah. This is amazing. It's so, chimichurri it's sauce. It's 11 o'clock somewhere. Before we get started, let me tell you about what you have here. We also have some olive paste with tomatoes and mozzarella on nice. crostini. Cheater, Getting cheater. So cheating, cheating. Cheater. Okay, time has not started. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> she does that. <laughs> and what is this? These are cookies with dulce de leche, and you're going to roll them in the coconut flakes at the end. Wow. So the goal is to cook the meat along with some veggies. Mm -hmm. Once the meat is done. Yes. Once the meat is done, yes. you just add some chimichurri sauce to your tasting. Yes. So we have two minutes to prepare each dish. Are you ready, babe? I was born ready. To get your culo kicked? Let's, let's Everything go. we need is here. On your mark. All right. Let's get, get started. Ready? Go. Go. All right, got some. I love it. I, oh, I like the Olive music. Oil. Very good. I, my husband veggies. loves mushrooms. Okay, asparagus. And I know how to cook them now in some many different ways. On but the he cool doesn't side. understand onions. I'm sorry. Mm. Looks like you got some meat there grilling. Very good. Smells Who turned delicious. it up this high? It, it's trying to so, boycott my effort. Boris, what are you doing? Tell us, tell us what you're doing. Okay, I'm sauteing some of the veggies. I have the mushrooms in here. I have the asparagus here. I have and some the of the beautiful, figs. beautiful, beautiful uh, I can uh, cook the onions. So you know. All right, Nicole, Sauté how are you doing here? How are you doing? Do you need any help? Get them I'm, ready. I'm creating the dish presentation as we the go. The perfect Gorgeous. technique. Beautiful. So Sautéing <laughs> vegetables is <laughs> constant movement. So the vegetables and are well, well roundedly. Here. Let the people at, know, at home know what this is. These are figs, so little they figs. add a little bit of a taste. Uh, mm. Sweet tea. I think I need to rinse the Onions. pig down with a little bit. All right. Oh, All right. my goodness. Go. Add it. a little bit of spice. Oh. Chimichurri. Then okay, don't forget. Me. Chimichurri. Nicole is already <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> Almost Woody, done there. Look okay. That. Look at that. Look at that meat. Mmm, that looks yum. <laughs> okay. Hurry. Almost done. 30 seconds. 30 you guys seconds. hurry up because we also have to do the cookies. Okay. Yep, roll the, the cookies. Churro. The chimichurri sauce. And you need you to plate like it, it on a plate. Make it beautiful. Presentation is important. Ah, uh, presentation is overrated. <laughs> and this is oh, really this is a amazing. traditional Argentine Ten, dish. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, hurry up, hurry up. Three. Need to put seven, it on a plate. Nicole, five, right there's your plate. Your plate is right hey, there. Yeah. Okay, time. Time's, time's down. We have a little presentation here for us. Look at that, huh? Look at that. Delicious. Look at that. No, look at this. No, look at that. Look at this. Beauty, huh? That looks beautiful. Look at this, huh? Ah, stop it, cat. In look Argentina, they're all you about meat. You haven't seen nothing yet. They <laughs> actually... That's a fun fact. They have more cattle than humans. This is the P.S. de so Who wants Ooh. to be our taste tester? Beautiful. Yeah, lovely lady right there. Come feast your eyes on this. Hi, we have a how lovely... are you? Good to you see you. Hi, what's your name? Where are you from? Summer Still. Oh, from... And wow, originally a... Myrtle Beach, and now I live here in Studio that's City. That's the best Woo! name I've ever heard in my life. I know, Summer, Summer Still. Still. Oh, can Some, I say, yes. you guys are gorgeous up close. So. <laughs> oh, thank you. You want to hold the mic? Okay. So you want to taste me... mine first, Summer? I'll let you get it over Go with. <laughs> you can taste mine first. Yes. Step up. 
There you go. I'll, I'll give you all his little this bits and pieces. This looks so good. It is very good, Summer. Okay. <laughs> you just I, have to taste it. I feel a little pressure from him. <laughs> what do you think, Summer? Mm. Mm. Mm, that's yeah. what I say. Can you hear that? Mm. Okay, you guys are doing too much. <laughs> <laughs> now, Summer, you need to taste this. If I pick yours, maybe I can come back and do it again. Ooh. <laughs> that's right. That's what she said. Mama's the boss. <laughs> Taste that. You are the chef in your house, right? Yes. I'm going to have to go with this. Oh! oh! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't touch me, Summer. Thank you, Kat. Special thanks to Kat Baratova for bringing her taste of Argentina to the boys from the cold show. You can all try to cook up your own Argentinian dish because you are going home with the Try the Word box. For more information, log on to BorisOnTheCall.com. We'll be right back with Sally Richards Whitfield and her husband, Dondre. Don't go away. Okay, good. Our next guest are a Hollywood power couple. She's got a new show on ABC Family, and he's one of the realest husbands in Hollywood. Please welcome our friends Sally Richardson Whitfield and Don Dre Whitfield! Yeah. I feel like we're at home. Oh, <laughs> that's sweet. We love you guys. Oh, I, 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 I'm, and I'm congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank, thank, you, you, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, Dondre, your big break was on the Cosby Show. Yeah. Yes. You guys remember him from the Cosby Show? Yeah. Yes. He had, had, had hair. He had hair. He had hair. That was that was that was a. <laughs> that was a that was a half row ago. <laughs> half row ago. But when you started and people started recognizing you, like, did just people assume that you were rolling in the dough? Of course, and that's that's one of the the terrible things about being. I mean, you got to remember that time was the most watched show on television history. So you know, I got fame before I had money, which sucks, <laughs> because people are coming up to you and they're like, hey. Well, why are you on the train? <laughs> <laughs> and I literally will be like, oh, that's not me. I know who you're talking about. I hate that dude. He's stupid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Well, uh, switching gears a little bit, the Bill Cosby sex scandal has mm. been on the news for a while now, and you both worked with him. Yeah. Uh, what is your take on the whole thing? Well, I, honestly, you know, I have, you know, people have been asking me, hey, did you see any signs of anything? And of course not. But I think the biggest takeaway that uh, we need to bear in mind is that as a husband and as a father of a, of a 10 year old daughter, I think what we need to do is create a safe atmosphere for women to come forward immediately if anything goes down. That's right. What's your feeling on this? Well, you know, until we, you know, we find out really everything, I don't like people to put judgments on me and I don't do it to anybody else. So. I think that it doesn't feel, doesn't sound good, doesn't feel good, but I would like to see everything come out. Mm -hmm. Yes. Definitely. Well, you guys have been married for 13 years, 13 years in Hollywood, y'all. Okay. So how many is that in real? Oh, so, look at this, right here, so we got her right here. Hey, I was a baby. Wow. There's the hair, there's look the hair Look at that line. hair, it was starting to go. I can wow. tell, it was a little thin. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh. It's bittersweet, I, I've I was, been there. I was almost handsome there. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the pants in your, your relationship? Um, I, I think that uh, Dandre would say that would be, I don't wear the pants, but I am definitely more of the man. Yeah. I mean, I don't care. Okay, okay, well, hold on, no, hold on, don't skip over that. Let's rework that. Explain, like, explain that. I, it means that I don't care about my birthday. It's not a big deal. Valentine's Day. Wow. Those kind, it's not yeah. like, well, yeah. we should go on Wife Swap. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that would be interesting. We'd be hitting the golf. Oh my God. We'd be playing golf night and day. We would have a blast. Yeah. You and I would be, we would be like, hey, and oh, I 
here, honey. I'm like, I got you a new moisturizer here. Thank you. <laughs> and did you buy me a tote? <laughs> You said we were going to let it go. You said we were going to okay. let it go. Okay, I'll take Sally, a joke. I'll take a joke. Okay. I'm just saying. I'll take a joke. Sally, you star in the hit ABC Family series, uh, Stitchers. Yes. yes. And we want to hear all about it, but. Okay. You, you got to do it in six seconds oh. in a Vine video right into Dave's lovely camera here. Dave. Okay. Am I going over there? Yeah. No. Oh, you're, oh, you're staying, you're staying right here. Oh, yeah. just, and just get it all in. When it's out. Okay. 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 Wait, 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 wait. Okay. 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 And go. Okay. It's a secret government agency where we solve crimes by stitching into the consciousness of a recently dead person to figure out how they got killed. Good job. Woo! Good job. Good job. We, have a, we have a clip from Stitchers. Take a look. It wasn't pretty, but we, yeah. Good. What do you really know about him? He's an anthropologist, correct? He's off traveling the world and shows up at your door, charms his way back into your life, and pops the question. What's wrong with that? The timing. He didn't come back until you got involved with the Stitchers program. He finished his fellowship. William's not a problem. That's all you need to know. So, Dondi, um, this fall you're going to hit the road. Yes. With uh, the Manhood Tour. Tell yes, us sir. about the Manhood Tour. Uh, you know, acting has been a passion of mine for over 30 years now, um, but my transformative work with the Manhood Tour is my purpose. And, uh, and that is really important because I think uh, when we see so many examples now that I, our biggest problem in society right now is that our males are not really uh, men and we give them the areas that they're deficient in in order to fortify those needs so that they can step into their manhood in the highest degree. Yeah. 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 Thank you, yeah. our friends, right Sally Richards and Winfield and Donnie Winfield for joining us. You can catch her in Stitchers Tuesday nights on ABC Family. We'll be right back. and your popsicle sticks, you may want to play co close attention to our next guest. She's 12-year-old star of DreamWorks TV on YouTube, Life Hacks for Kids, and she's here to teach us some fun and easy tricks the whole family will love. Please welcome adorably talented Sunny Keller. Hey, Sunny. Hi, Sunny. Hi. Hey. Great job. Hi. Thank you. How are you? Now, okay. you're only 12, and you've been doing hacks since you were eight. How did you get started? Well, I mean, when I was little-er, um, <laughs> <laughs> I just, I started doing a bunch of these, like, little businesses among my friends. Like, I took their old, like, messy dolls and I fixed them up and wow. made, like, a business called All Dolled Up. And it was just among, like, my friends at school. You charged them? Yeah. <laughs> wow! How much did you charge for a doll? Like seven bucks. Whoa! <laughs> okay. You're rich now. <laughs> That's amazing. So there are a lot of like balloon hacks and games for practical uses. Which one are you going to show us today? Well, right now I'm going to show you this um, balloon phone case. Okay. Awesome. And this one's pretty easy. All you need is a phone and a balloon. So should I blow one up? Sure. So what oh. you're going to do, blow it up, but don't tie it at the end. Okay. So. okay. This big, oh, pretty much. Handsome. Yeah. We're Is not that... 12 anymore, babe. Is that good? I'm good. winded. Okay, you're good. So now take one of the phones yep. and put it face up with the top of it facing the mouth opening okay. part. And you're going to press down on it with your, in the middle of the phone okay. and slowly let out air and while pushing hard. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is amazing. So and you have kind of this phone case made out of a balloon. This is so cool. Like, how you doing, guys? Yeah. <laughs> this is incredible. That's so, so cool. hey, I'm excited. What, what are we, what are we what gonna is, make next? This is, this is our, um, it's our cheaper speakers. So what you're gonna do. He's gonna love this. Yeah. You take the plastic solo cups yep. and you cut 
a hole. You, you first I'll do that for you while okay. you're talking. Sure. First of all, you draw, you trace the um, the paper towel roll. Oh, to get the perfect to circle. To get the perfect circle. Yes. Gotcha. And then you're gonna cut. You're gonna trace your phone. I'm gonna yeah. grab this. And you're gonna trace your phone among this side, and then create a little opening and a, a flap. Okay. A slot. It's more That's like it. an octagon, but put the paper towel roll this is through. Genius. You're that. a genius. Thank you. Yes, she <laughs> is. <laughs> and now I'm gonna take this off. Take so, your case off. Yeah, take my case off temporarily. Gotcha. Yes. And. You place the phone, and it amplifies the voice. This is incredible. This is unbelievable. Perfect music. You're amazing. Yes. Well, since it's all about the music, we thought um, you can show us uh, how to make your hack Monica. So what you'll need are two um, pretty thick popsicle sticks, like tongue depressors. And, tongue um, depressors, is tongue, that yes, the technical term? Yes, my dad's yes. a dentist, tongue depressors. Yes, depressors. and you'll need um, one pretty long, flat um, rubber band, Yep. two small ones, yep. you need um, a thick piece of paper as well, and you're gonna take the paper, cut one strip along this side, mm -hmm. and then cut that strip in half. Okay. Gotcha. And you roll it up? And then you roll it up and tape it with the tape. Once you've done that, put it through the popsicle stick, and then take another one yep. and do the same thing. So then you have two little rubber okay. bands on first, this side. Yeah, but first you take another one and put it under, like oh, that. So you, you stack it on top, the and Double then layer. you put those you need to learn how to listen. on each side. <laughs> All right, so I got my, I'm, I'm doubling up, and then what happens? So we did that? Here, let's put this So in here's the so finished product the finished over one. here. What do we do with finished that? Finished product, and you go. <laughs> wow! Wow! Look at that. This is a perfect hack monitor. Anything into basically anything. I love that. Yes. That's going to do it for us today. Thank you to Nigel Lithgow, Adam Shankman, Victor Ortiz, Kat Baratova for Try the World. As well as Sally Richardson Whitfield and Don Dre Whitfield and the adorable Sonny Kelly. Sonny Kelly. See you next time. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for um, thanks uh, for being my wife. Uh, uh, gifts, really? Yeah. 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 Perfumes. Uh, you know, when you're married, you got to keep it spontaneous and spicy, and I think great gifts do Who that. Who are you talking to? <laughs> you explain to me what I have to do when I'm married. Well, I'm doing it right now. I I'm the one who bought you the 64 bottles of perfume. <laughs> that would be me. Yeah. 
That was me. I'm just trying to give you hints, babe. Just little hints of how to kick it up a notch. <laughs> if I kick it up another notch, I, I, I mean, I don't know. I, 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 how many bags have you gotten? We don't have to discuss this right now. Uh, well, yeah, well, I just want to, I just want to, you know, because there's a lot of bags in my house. <laughs> Totes and We have a great sacks. show for you today, yes, don't we? we? Do. Yes, yeah. we okay. do. Way to avoid the question. Okay, no, this is what I want to say. Are Please. any married people here? Yeah. And do you find yourselves in a little romance rut? Sometimes. Sure. Yeah. The one guy's like, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rotting right now, yes. <laughs> Speak to me. Sometimes it takes just a little gesture to, to scooch us up a notch. Scooch us up? Yeah. A little surprise, a little hey, thought about you on my way home, stopped. So gotcha. I bought you a thirty thousand dollar tote. <laughs> <laughs> Is no. that really? No, 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 no. If no. you don't know, I can't help you. Okay, can we please set the record straight? And yep. can you make sure people understand that I do know? Okay. <laughs> that I do know. Well, put your knowledge where the knowledge is. <laughs> we have a great show today. From So You Think You Can Dance, Nigel Lipko and choreographer Adam Shackman are here, yes. And from the movie that's getting a lot of buzz, Southpaw's Victor Ortiz is in the yes. building. And our friends, Sally Richardson Whitfield and her husband, Dondre Whitfield, will also be joining us. A lot going on today. It's an action-packed show. But before we uh, bring our... The test. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Yeah. He, he, he added the... Mo that's key, too. That is key, too. But I didn't have to tell you that. You already got it. Natural. Natural, natural, natural talent. Because there's nothing harder <laughs> than, like, an old Jew, like... Don't you guys have... Hey, that was so much fun. something going on this weekend, right? August the 1st, we were at Club Nokia with the Dizzy Feet Foundation Gala. Woo. Love it. That's our celebration of dance. Wow. And uh, <laughs> tickets are available Thank now. you so much. Thank you, so uh, Adam and Nigel. Thank, Thank you, you for being so here. For more information on the celebration of Dance Gala, go to our Facebook page. We'll be right back. is a crowd-pleasing boxing champion, but this weekend you can catch him in the highly anticipated film Southpaw. Please welcome Victor Ortiz! But then I was like, I have to steam it still. This, nah, I'll just go. Oh, oh just no, no, no. Blaze is so overrated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys? Where'd that come from? I, I can take it off. You don't like it? Well, I, you know, well, take wait a minute. Wow. Take, take it, it off. Just take it off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Twinning. Yeah. We're go. twinning now. Boom. So, Here we go. Yeah, so well, <laughs> we can talk about your film in a second, but let's first talk Absolutely. about what an inspiration you are. Oh, thank you. You yeah. truly overcame the odds to become a success, and uh, it's really, your story is very inspiring. Why don't you share some of it with us? I remember I was nine years old, and I just said to myself, I have to be world champion, man. I was so natural at it. Not as a, I'm right-handed, can't fight right-handed. So one day I just started switching this way, and I just started noticing that I'd make every kid cry in the ring. <laughs> I fell in love with that, and I was like, hey, I was a little fat kid, you That's know? a pretty good sign that you're yeah, on your way. Absolutely. You make everybody cry around you. I mean, you know, I was this little, you know, this little fluffy kid. I played the piano. I was in the choir for school, and wow. I even had some vocal coaching. But I just remember I'd get in the ring right-handed, and boom, 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 hit me. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, uh, one day I just turned this way, and then this little... I mean, may he rest in peace, Bucky Avila, Ignacio, he taught me how to uh -huh. box uh, lefty. And then, you know, I'm like, the same guys that make me cry, I'd be like, boom, boom. I'm like, oh, don't cry. It's OK, bro. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> so I just fell in love with <laughs> making somebody cry. And Stop then, uh, it, cat. In Argentina, they're all you about You haven't seen nothing yet. They yeah. actually 
That's the fun fact. They have more cattle than humans. This is the Fiesta de Resusa. Who wants Ooh. to be our taste tester? Beautiful. Yeah, lovely lady right there. Come feast your eyes on this. Hi, we have a how lovely... are you? Good to you see you. Hi, what's your name? Where are you from? Summer Still. Oh, from... And wow, originally a... Myrtle Beach, and now I live here in Studio that's City. That's the best Woo! name I've ever heard in my life. I know. Summer, Summer Still. Oh, can Some, I say, yes. you guys are gorgeous up close. So. <laughs> oh, thank you. You want to hold the mic? Okay. So you want to taste me... mine first, Summer? I'll let you get it over Good with. <laughs> you can taste mine first. Yes. Step up. There no, you go. I'll give you all his little this bits and pieces. so good. It is very good, Summer. Okay. You just I, have to taste it. I feel a little pressure from him. <laughs> what do you think, Summer? Mm. Mm. That's yeah. what I say. Can you hear that? Mm. Okay, you guys okay. are doing too much. <laughs> <laughs> now, Summer, you need to taste this. If I pick yours, maybe I can come back and do it again. Ooh. <laughs> That's right. That's what she said. Mama's the boss. <laughs> taste that. You are the chef in your house, right? Yes. I'm going to have to go with this. Oh! Sorry, I'm sorry. Don't touch me, Summer. Thank you, Kat. Special thanks to Kat Baratova for bringing her taste of Argentina to the boys from the cold show. You can all try to cook up your own Argentina dish because you are going home with the Try the Word box. For more information, log on to boysfromthecold.com. We'll be right back with Sally Richards Whitfield and her husband, Dondre. Don't go away. Are you gonna let it go? I let it go. Okay, good. Our next guests are a Hollywood power couple. She's got a new show on ABC Family and he's one of the realest husbands in Hollywood. Please welcome our friends Sally Richardson Whitfield and Don Dre Whitfield! Yeah. I feel like we're at home. Oh, <laughs> that's sweet. There. Uh, what, guys? I prepped. You guys told me to do that. Well, no. Listen, they want you back. Oh. There you go. So, actually, you know, champ, you're in the movie. Amazing. Congratulations. Yes. Yes. Thank that's you. incredible. Yes. Yeah. Well, we, we can't let a boxing champion leave without us learning some techniques. Oh, absolutely. Do you think you could Let's do that. Ooh. <laughs> So here, uh -oh. we don't want you to hurt yourself. Uh -oh, I think we yeah. need some room. Can we make some yes. room? Yes. <laughs> Let's make some room here. <laughs> All right. Why do you get the pink gloves? That's cancer awareness, bro. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, it's because you think I'm soft, and then I oh. hook you with my southpaw. Oh. Get you. You hook me with your southpaw. <laughs> that's, um, okay. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> So let me ask, are you right-handed or left-handed? I'm right-handed. Right-handed. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, maybe when you not. right? Because you, I'm right-handed too, but I fight left-handed. Okay, I'm open. Oh, I'm okay, open. okay, let's, let's try a jab real quick. No, oh. this is a jab. Oh, I knew that. Fundamentals, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Here. Jab, this is jab. Okay. Jab, Okay. one, two. Got you, got you. You got to okay. twist the, Yep. You know, I'm ready. one, two. I'm ready. Yeah, okay, yep. one, twist one two. Twist the hip. One, two, boo. Oh, one, two. Oh. One, two. Oh, ooh, one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Oh, one, two. Wow. One, two. Faster. One, two. One, two. Oh. One, two. Whoa. And heels. Yeah. And heels. I don't, I don't need to embarrass myself. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to embarrass myself. <laughs> we want to thank Victor amazing. Ortiz for coming. <laughs> <laughs> don't get away. We will be right back. Try food 
foods from faraway places mm. in different countries without having to travel across the world? Well, now you can without even leaving your home. Here to tell us more about Try the World Gourmet Food Boxes, please welcome Kat Varatova. Kat Varatova. Hey. Hi, hey. welcome, welcome. Two sides. Yes. So Kat, I, I nice love the idea of, of eating food from another country without leaving my house. So tell us a little bit about uh, how Try the World got started. Of course. Well, I love to eat and I love to travel. So three years ago, when I was a graduate student at Columbia University, I met a fellow foodie and traveler, David Fult, and together we found a Try the World because every time we came back from an exotic destination and wanted to recreate that culinary experience, we just could not find the products in the U.S. So how many countries do you have food boxes from? So we've done 10 countries so far. Wow. Anywhere from France, Japan, Brazil, Morocco, Italy, and they all come with delicious foods. So you had to go there and you do research on the food and... We work with local experts and celebrity chefs to actually wow. source these products. Well, <laughs> there's some times where Something major happens, and I know you, like most men, you've already weighed whether or not this is worth arguing about, and you toss it out. So I know that I have to hold it in and just work it out with myself, otherwise it's gonna be a whole other argument, and so that's when I say, I don't wanna talk about it. But how do I learn when you don't wanna share with me what the problem is? Because I already know, are we having an argument <laughs> right now? Are we, are we having our first argument? No, no, we're, on, we're, on, we're, uh, uh, we're, just we're just discussing. We're just discussing. Okay. Do you want me to give an example? Please. Okay, because I've been holding this in. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> I went to a deli and I've been trying to watch my weight because I want to fit into these cute clothes Doesn't and Damon wardrobe. Oh. And trying to eat my meals, whatever. Yeah, what well, thank you. And watch the carbs. And it's not easy with kids and everything. So I went and I bought my favorite, and time's an issue, so I bought my favorite tuna. Yeah. <laughs> And I put it in the fridge. And because when you live in a house with other people, they don't know, so I even put my name on it. <laughs> Mom, on a little sticker. Okay, okay, the sticker. First of all, the sticker fell, so it, it was upside down, and it said, wow. <laughs> so I thought, wow, she's leaving me a piece of tuna. Wow, it's such great tuna. So I was really appreciative oh, okay. that you thought of me, and I'm very disappointed to find Why out that you, you weren't laughing? thinking of me. <laughs> you're gonna have with me right now? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, okay. You don't want to talk about it? You're not getting any tuna tonight. Oh. <laughs> we have to take a break. But when we come back, we'll chat with Nigel Mitchell and Adam Shane Don't go away. Hi, I'm Adam Shankman. And I'm Nigel Lithgow. And we're about to go on the Boris and Nicole show. I can't wait. I love Boris and Nicole. Maybe too much. Maybe too much. Now, if you think you can dance, you're definitely gonna love our next guests. They've introduced us to some of the most talented dancers across the globe on their hit show, So You Think You Can Dance. Please welcome award-winning choreographers Nigel Litko and Adam Sheckman. <laughs> Argentina to the boys on the cold show. You can all try to cook up your own Argentina dish because you are going home with the Try the World box. For more information, log on to BorisOnTheCold.com. We'll be right back with Sally Richards and Whitfield and her husband, Dondre. Don't go away. Okay, good. Our next guest is a Hollywood power couple. She's got a new show on ABC Family, and he's one of the realest husbands 
in Hollywood. Please welcome our friends Sally Richardson Whitfield and Don Dre Whitfield! Yeah. I feel like we're at home. Oh, <laughs> that's sweet. We love you guys. Wow. Wow. Guys, 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 guys. I'm in, I'm congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank, you. Guys. Thank you. So, Dondre, your big break was on the Cosby Show. Yeah. Yes. You guys remember him on the Cosby Show? Yeah. Yes. He had, he had hair. He had hair. That was that was that was a that was a that was a half row ago. <laughs> half row ago. But when you started and people started recognizing you, like. Did just people assume that you were rolling in the dough? Of course, and that's that's one of the, the terrible things about being, I mean, you gotta remember, that time it was the most watched show on television history, so, you know, I got fame before I had money, which sucks. <laughs> <laughs> because people were coming up to you and they're like, hey, well, why are you on the train? <laughs> <laughs> And I literally would be like, oh, that's not me. I know who you're talking about. I hate that dude. He's stupid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Well, uh, switching gears a little bit, the Bill Cosby sex scandal has mm. been on the news for a while now, and you both worked with him. Yeah. Uh, what is your take on the whole thing? Well, I, honestly, you know, I have, you know, people have been asking me, hey, did you see any signs of anything? And of course not. But I think the biggest takeaway that uh, we need to bear in mind is that as a husband and as a father of a, of a 10 year old daughter, I think what we need to do is create a safe atmosphere for women to come forward. <laughs> taught him all that, it was great. Yeah. <laughs> it was great You're performing day. now in World of Dance, right? Yes, yes so I am. So tell us all about that. Um, well, it's like this giant hip hop competition and um, I usually go to go showcase. And it's really cool because they really let me, um, like they really let me just kind of like do my freestyling, uh, which is really great. And which also, uh, like it's my freestyling and my personality that I get to just let it out on stage every time, city to city, so. Well, you sure are. <laughs> why, why do you think dance is such a powerful expression? Um, I think because, first of all, it calls on all of your things. It's, it's movement, there's intake with, um, with music, there's, you have the music going on in your head, you get physically exhausted from it, it creates energy inside your body. And dancing is generally, in a, you know, thought of back when he was born in the Stone Age. It was all, you know, when, when they invented fire when he was around, <laughs> and he, you know, and he was dancing around, it was all joy and celebration and praise and, and all of that. Now, you know, with contemporary dancing, it expresses an enormity. In our, in our foundation, in the Dizzy Feet Foundation, when I look at our site visits and I see kids in some of the most horrible areas in the country, we're, we ha we're hitting well over 60,000 kids yeah. now. Mm -hmm. and, um, and it transcends race, it transcends gender, it transcends culture. Absolutely. And you see these kids yes. who, uh, on poverty level, who are addressing each other with respect, mm -hmm. experiencing community, self-esteem, community glue as well. It's, it's social glue. Community is together. This is awesome. Well, you have some mad pop blocking skills. I've got a few of my own. So oh, oh yeah. boy. So you might want to brush me up and then teach him some. <laughs> okay, brush up on some. <laughs> okay, so some basics. Just give us some basics. Okay. Some basics. Okay, so right. first mm -hmm. we're gonna do. We're gonna take. Oh, we're gonna take our hands out. Just like do a little. Do I have to take this jacket off? Oh, no. Are I we mean, doing you this too? I think they tend to look better in jackets. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you're gonna take your hands like this. You're gonna bring your hand down. 
Oh, I, I'm right. I'm with you. I'm with you. So we're gonna bring your hand down. Yeah. We're gonna pop our elbow up. Oh my God, we're doing the. We're wave. gonna pop our shoulder. We're gonna pop our other shoulder. We're gonna do our elbow. Elbow. We're gonna bring it out like this. Oh! Bring it in. Oh, oh is this? I think I need to rinse the Onions. thing down a little bit. All right. All right. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we'll add a little bit of size. Oh. Chimichurri. Then okay, don't forget me. chimichurri. Nicole was already. <laughs> Almost Rudy, done there, look okay. That, look at that, look at that meat. Mmm, that looks yum. <laughs> okay. Hurry. Almost done. 30 seconds. 30 you guys seconds. hurry up, because you also have to do the cookies. Okay. Yep, roll the, the cookies. The chimichurro. The chimichurri sauce. And you need you to plate like it, it on a plate. Make it beautiful. Presentation is important. Ah, uh, presentation is overrated. <laughs> and this is oh, really this is a amazing. traditional Argentine Eight. dish. Eight. Seven. Hurry up, hurry up. Three. Need to put it on a plate. Nicole, right there's your plate. Your plate is right there. Okay, time's, time's down. Yep. We have a little presentation here for us. Look at that, huh? Look at that. Delicious. Look at that. No, look at this. No, look at that. Look at this. Beauty, huh? That looks beautiful. Look at this, huh? Ah, uh, stop uh, it, cat. In Look Argentina, they're all you about meat. You haven't nothing yet. They <laughs> actually, that's a fun fact, they have more cattle than humans. This is the Fiesta de Resusa. Who wants Ooh. to be our taste tester? Beautiful. Yeah, lovely lady right there. Come feast your eyes on this. Hi, we have a how lovely... are you? Good to you see you. Hi, what's your name? Where are you from? Summer still. Oh, from... And wow, originally a... Myrtle Beach, and now I live here in Studio that's City. That's the best Woo! name I've ever heard in my life. I know, Summer, Summer still. still. Oh, can Some, I say, yes. you poetry. guys are gorgeous up close. So. <laughs> oh, thank, thank you. You, you want to hold the mic? Okay. So you want to taste me... mine first, Summer? I'll let you get it over go with. <laughs> you can taste mine first. Yes. Step up. There you, you know, go. I'll, I'll give you all his little this bits and pieces. This looks so good. It is very good, Summer. Okay. <laughs> you just I, have to taste it. I feel a little pressure from him. <laughs> what do you think, Summer? Mmm. <laughs> Mm. That's yeah. what I say. Can you hear that? Mm. Okay, you guys okay. are doing too much. <laughs> <laughs> now, Summer, you need to taste this. If I pick yours, maybe I can come back and do it again. Ooh. <laughs> That's right. That's what she said. Mama's the boss. <laughs> taste that. You are the chef in your house, right? Yes. I'm going to have to go with this. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't touch me, Summer. Special thanks to Kat Baratova for bringing her taste of Argentina to the boys from the Cold Show. You can all try to cook up your own Argentinian dish because you are going home with the Try the Word box. For more information, log on to boysfromthecold.com. We'll be right back. Oh, maybe you right? Because I'm right-handed too, but I fight left-handed. Okay, I'm open. Oh, I'm okay, open. okay, let's, let's try a jab real quick. No, oh. this is a jab. Oh, I knew that. Fundamentals, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. There jab, you. this is jab. Okay. Jab. Okay. One, two. Got you. Got you. You got to twist the. Yep, you know, I'm ready. One, two. I'm ready. Yeah, hip. Okay. Yep. One, twist one, the hip. two. Twist the hip. One, two. Boom. Oh, one, two. Oh. One, two. Oh, ooh, one, two. Oh, one, two. One, two. Oh, one, two. Wow. one, two. Faster. One, two. One, two. One, two. Oh, and heels. Yeah. And heels. I don't, I don't need to embarrass myself. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to embarrass myself. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to thank Victor Ortiz for coming. Don't get away. We will be right back. from faraway places in different countries without having to travel across the world? Well, now you can without even leaving your home. Here to tell us more about Try the World Gourmet Food Boxes, please welcome Kat Varatova. Kat Varatova. Hi, Hi. 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 welcome, welcome. Two sides. Okay. Yes. So, Kat, nice I, you. I nice love the idea of, of eating food from another country without leaving my house. So tell us a little bit about uh, how Try the World got started. Of course. Well, I love to eat and I love to travel. So three years ago, when I was a graduate student at Columbia University, I met a fellow foodie and traveler, David Fultz, and together we found a Try the World because every time we came back from an exotic destination and wanted to recreate that culinary experience, 
we just could not find the products in the U.S. So how many countries do you have food boxes from? So we've done 10 countries so far. Wow. Anywhere from France, Japan, Brazil, Morocco, Italy, and they all come with delicious foods. So you had to go there and you do research on the food and... We work with local experts and celebrity chefs to actually wow. source these products directly from the countries. Nice. Which box are we working with today? Today we're working with Argentina and a... Well, let's see what's tango. inside. Is, that where, is, that where, uh, is this what's... What, yeah, what's over here? So we got seven local, authentic, and delicious products from Argentina and a culture guide which comes with recipes, music, and movies so you wow. can create this culinary wow. and cultural experience at home and share with your friends, your I kids. Love this. That's very comprehensive. For yourself. Yes, I love this. So Boris and I are going to have an Argentinian cook-off. You set it up, set us up lovely here. Thank you so much. Well, look, when we did the mystery food challenge last week, I lost, so I have to redeem myself. Uh, uh, I have my what is Anilon pot? It's this lovely pot that was given to us by Anilon. That's right. <laughs> I'm so grateful to you. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Kat, just tell us what we need to do. Okay. <laughs> well, each of you have a slice. See, I, I don't know her personally, so I want to give it a benefit of doubt because she well, is a comedian. The debate. Right, I give She's her a that comedian, freedom. So, so, so she is being provocative. Yes. Which is her right. Uh, she, she wants to express that side of her. Um, I would like to meet her. And, oh, and, really? And, and after I meet... <laughs> Well, clearly Amy Schumer has definitely won some people over. <laughs> well, let's talk about some ways that men can woo women. Give me some examples. Well, uh, you, perfume and totes. <laughs> see, see, that's the thing. She doesn't let it, she doesn't let it go. <laughs> she just doesn't let it go. And, and, no, do, I think you guys... Under, sorry, go ahead. No, I don't no, it's fine. You anymore. No, 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 go no, ahead. no, no, no. Weren't you the one who said, okay, after we apologize or after we say I'm sorry to each other, we let it go? Yes. We acknowledge that the other person does not agree. We agree to disagree and we let it go. Yes. So why do you bring up the totes <laughs> and the perfume again? I let it go. No, you didn't. You just <laughs> brought it up again. <laughs> yes. No, I, I'm letting it go. Just read the subject. But I just think that you guys sleep on, this is for all the single guys out there, you sleep on some of the four basic things that, that work, right? Be nice. You know, you don't have to be a jerk. Just be kind and strong and a gentleman, it's okay. Be nice to children, you know what I mean? Like if you're with a guy and he's yelling about a kid crying in a restaurant or, you know, sees a cute kid and doesn't say anything, like, it's, it's nice to see that you, you know, you did that. What? I, I saw the way you, 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 you cared for children. When we were on set and someone would bring their baby oh, to yeah, set, yeah. you always picked them up. But I mean, and... how low is this bar? Jesus. <laughs> I mean, to woo women, you have to be a, a human? That's it? A male human? That's how cro be nice. men have become. Don't be abuse creative. children? <laughs> what, what is this? I mean, what are, are we basics. talking about? These are the basics. These are not the caveman times. Well, yes, they are. Let's ask some of our single friends out there. <laughs> yes. Don't pull women by their hair. You guys need to be reminded. You need to be reminded. Jeez, I, look, I don't need gimmicks. I don't need any tricks. I think if a man is confident, uh, and comfortable with who he is, you don't need anything. Just be yourself, right? Yeah. Or drive a big car. <laughs> Have a really big car. Or, or bring... <laughs> bring lots of totes <laughs> and perfume to the party. Well, sometimes in a relationship, it's, it's both sides who keep quiet about their feelings, and, the, and they use that common response that you always accuse me of. Like, I don't want to talk about it. That one? Yeah, you do that all the time. Well, there's some times where something major happens, and I know you, like most men, you've already weighed whether or not this is worth arguing about, and you toss it out. So I know that I have to 